But she just said, yeah, a lot of anger, fear, frustration. It was certainly a harrowing scene on Lake Michigan. Our Roseanne Tias was there for it all. Yeah, Roseanne is standing by right now to give us an update on what we know about the man that's wearing that mask there. He was the one out on the water. Roseanne, what do you know? Well, he is apparently, he's talking to police right now, but I think he is being released. He was checked out. He's okay. We have the chief of the Marine unit. Uh, who is going to tell us a little bit more about what happened. This is uh, Jason Locke. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you? I'm good, but this has been a crazy morning here. Tell us what this man said. Why was he out there? So after talking with him once we got him back in, he was out just for a walk. When he From back home, he's from overseas. He's a local student here at a college. Was out just for a walk. He had no idea he was on the ice at first. He was more than 1,000 feet offshore on broken ice. And he didn't realize it was ice. He thought he was on ground. He thought he was on ground. He didn't know he was on open, uh, over open water. Okay, we saw you with this, uh, you know, fancy inflatable device. Tell us how this uh, rescue went off. And and at one point he kept walking. And then did he finally realize you were all out here for him? It, uh, it took a while, but yes, because the distance he was out offshore. Uh, we have a rapid deployment craft. It's something we use for ice rescue, uh, unfortunately, quite often. It's inflatable. It'll sustain about 2,000 pounds. It's an easy transport system for us when there's people on the ice to get them off safely. And uh, medical-wise, he checked out okay. I saw him in the ambulance. EMS. He was cleared by our, our EMS people, yes. And I'm sorry, did someone say they had a question back I, in the yes, studio? Yes, Roseanne, I do. Could you please ask him? I, I'm just curious about his demeanor. He okay. seemed to be waving off his rescuers. When they got to him, did he say anything to him? And if so, what did he say? Right. Yeah, Scott Schneider back in the studio asking, what did he say when they got to him? He seemed to almost be waving off the help. He had actually said he was out here just walking around, didn't know what all the big commotion was about. But he, then he also did not realize he was over open water on the ice. Roseanne, uh, Anita you know, here. Some people were even concerned that, you know, maybe he should be in, uh, you know, be in some trouble for causing all this fuss. But it sounds like he just had no idea. huh? He had no idea what was going on. And you could see by our rescuers coming back in, they were actually hitting patches of open water. So it was a dangerous situation out right. there. Roseanne Anita Padilla has a question. Yeah. Could you ask the fire chief to show our viewers and maybe with you and Sean, you could show our viewers physically right now with the camera and have him explain how difficult or easy it is for somebody to accidentally walk out there on the on from the land to the water i mean can you right. show us well i will tell you um sean can show you the edge here it would not be easy to do here it's pretty obvious because of the break wall however over where we were i think maybe actually in the in the background there are different parts where the ice sort of does meet the shore so i i guess um uh chief maybe you can tell me do a lot of people make that mistake? How easy is it to do? It, it's actually kind of easy right now with the heavy snow that we have out there. Um, there are markers and holes that stay, stay off the ice. Over by the beach area, they're all blockaded off to stay off the ice. So this gentleman walked down some sip, slippery steps to get down to where he was at. Right. You know, I saw the chopper over him. I mean, is there any way, was anybody able to, to communicate with him? Because uh, people along the shoreline were screaming desperately and he couldn't hear. The fire department helicopter was trying to communicate with him uh, via their PA system that far out. Unfortunately, with the, the noise from the helicopter, the distance that they had to stay away so they didn't dust him or blow him over into the, into the water. Right. So, it, sounds like he it looks like he finally figured it out, though, yes, that you're all here for him. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and... Uh, so now, once again, he's okay, and he's just going to be released. Everybody's okay, and everybody's going home. That's the best we can and, hope for. And, Roseanne, one more quick question, if you don't mind. Um, one just more a, question a cautionary from Scott. tale for our viewers. If someone finds themselves mistakenly out on water, should they be walking around as that gentleman did, or should they stay put and let the rescuers get to them? Right. Scott asks, if, if this were to happen to somebody else, if you think you're on the land and uh, and suddenly you realize you're on the water should you stay put or should you try and get back to shore if you ever walk out on the ice and not knowing where you're at walk back in the same footprints you know that's solid at that point in time if you stay out there the longer you stay out there you could have hypothermia your weight could distribute things could change out there and you could fall through minimize your time out there stay low crawl back in if you're over open ice this way you won't fracture the ice and go through Wow, and you see this, uh, it sounds like, all too often in the winter months in Chicago. Unfortunately, yes. We have a lot of people out there. We go after animals and everything. So, right. that Well, good job today. Thank you. I'll let them know. Okay. Yes, please do.
Um, so, yes, that's it. We're going to go uh, try and uh, talk to this student here about his adventure this morning. <laughs> What an adventure. You know, you're, uh, you're laughing, and I am too. It, it's, so, it's almost comical that he is just that insistent that it was just an innocent mistake. I, I think I'm, I'm kind of like laughing because I'm like, I'm glad he's alive, yeah, and I'm like relief. relieved. Roseanne, I was holding my breath during your live shot because I thought that man was going to go down. Yeah, you and me both. It was, there were some uh, scary moments there where we weren't sure what he was doing. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to zip over there. I'm going to go do it. toss it yeah. back to you guys and, and see if he <laughs> wants to uh, we look share forward any to thoughts from him. <laughs> All right, Roseanne, you do it. You're doing a great job. I'm sure you're going to get that interview, too. <laughs> we'll be right back.